your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. Yes, yes. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Say, man, listen, man. We got a a, a a a lovely, lovely lady that just entered into the building, man. She's something else, man. <laughs> hey, man, I was watching your videos, man. I don't know where'd you get this 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 picture at. Was it Instagram? It's IG. Mm -hmm. I, I like the picture, man. But I, 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 you know, we gonna we gonna have a, we finna get our own pictures here Come in a minute, on, man. You got right. Same, man. Oh, man, look. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me introduce you. Check it, man. Say, man, Jazzy Mac is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> I could have played, played all that, man. I could have played all that. <laughs> Say, man, we so happy to have you, man. Hey, I'm happy to be here, man. It's a whole lot of boss ass shit here. Hey, boss man, boss talk one on one. What a bosses talk, man. Yeah, I'm with this. Y'all so uncapped, and Say, I love it. Man, and we I just who it. we are, man. And I, when I we we had to pick her up from Six Flags the other day when I texted you and said we're not gonna be able to be back in time. Remember I, I rescheduled, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was out of town, so I'm like, I'm got to do both of them anyway. Let's get it done. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm, I'm saying? Glad, I'm glad it, it worked out like that. You a cool guy, man. You're a real one. Yeah, man. I love being around real people. It's a fucking shortage. Man. Like you find a man. You got to like value it, right? Yeah. You got to make sure you harness it. Yeah, hell yeah. I don't be want to let it go. I, I be damn near throwing shit at a nigga. Here, take this love. Here, man. Get, get, get it. Just in so, hopes this shit. Somebody really catch this shit and say it. A lot of people be fake. A lot of people be fake. Oh, yeah. man. It's, it's sad. It's an epic. Coronavirus is not the worst epidemic out here. Fakeness and cloud chasing <laughs> man. has by far succeeded motherfucking Corona. So, yeah. so Jazzy Mac. Like, what's, what's, what's the. What, what, what? Were well, you from Fort Worth? I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. So, so let's let's get into it, man. Let's go back. I want to go back before the music. I like to start back. I, I like to get that back story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Jazzy Mac, uh, 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 who is Jazzy Mac? Before the music. Before the music. Before the music. See, and then I say this. It's damn near hard to say that because I still remember a full song, like the hook and all three verses from a song I had way back in elementary. Yeah. How like, old that's just were you my, at that time? Uh, honestly, I wanted to cap, but I was in fourth grade. You know, wow. I, ideally I would love to say I was in fourth, but now I was fourth grade. And you wrote it yourself. Yeah, I wrote it, and I remember I used to perform. Like, I'd take the, cat, uh, the little pillows out the couch in the living room and make me a little runway in that bitch. I really? turn up. Yeah, my mom was a good mama. She used to have us a little karaoke machine. Y'all know the joint with the machine. Yeah, come on, machine. man. My yeah. ain't drug one up in the reunion one yeah, time. Y'all Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. was on it. No, she was more like, uh, uh, that. what's that one with Yolanda Adams, man? Uh, uh, the Battle is the Lord's. That's mm -hmm. my Amy song. Me? She gonna play that one now. Mm -hmm. And she sung it, man. There is no pain. Mm. Yeah, 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 she gonna yeah, go there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, see, I ain't gonna lie. did you have siblings that were uh, doing the same thing? Um, I'm the oldest sibling. That's my blood sibling. Mm -hmm. So that was if they was yeah, they was doing the same thing after a while. Okay, mm -hmm. but now like, I'm, okay. I'm trying to drag them in. I'm trying to rap and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, all y'all gonna do be a hype man? Just hey, hey, family as affair. A oh, okay. definitely. That's definitely. good. So when so okay so you're at home doing that. So when was the first time you actually? had confidence in yourself to say, this is what I wanted to be. You know, it's like, I had, when I was in 10th grade, I went to Eastern Hills. Uh, I actually had a whole, and it's crazy, because I thought it was such a big deal. I, so I sat my mama down on the couch, like I was finna tell her I was pregnant or something. I was like, mama, I made this decision. I know what I'm gonna do with my life. Some, some, some. I'm gonna be a grade. rapper. And I'm thinking I'm dropping something profound. And she just looked at me and was like, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> Man, she didn't criticize say, you. She didn't believe you. Nah, honestly, shit. My mama, my mama is is a from nothing made herself into a corporate giant. So wow. she, you know, not out of no, it, it was out of good intent, but she wanted me to be a corporate person. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Parents usually do that. Like whatever they're in, they and they want to. Pay, how old were you? How, and yeah. I missed it. How old were you? Tenth grade. You, tenth so. grade. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. dope. When I came out, that's yeah. dope. I like it. Cause I was already recording and shit with my little homeboys in their closets and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it starts out at. Yeah. I heard yeah. you. You knew Gold Yayo and all them boy. That's what I he kept telling me. Like you, yeah, yeah. you come up in that era, man. I miss shit. I really can't. I didn't have a lot of shit. I'm like a stock. Goddamn. I didn't have a lot of goddamn me peaks and peaks and yeah, 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 yeah. What that college shit? Uh, 
Support and resistance, God damn it. I kind of, when I was looking, when I went through that tunnel trying to find you, um, I seen some spaces of uh, where it was gaps in there. And I felt yeah. like you wasn't working or either you wasn't here or something was going on. What was up with that? And your music was dope three years ago for you. I'm looking at it. You had dope music. So why did you slow down? I'm going to be honest with you, shit. Real life. I want to hear. And music life mm -hmm. is two different mm -hmm. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And they don't, it's like, I don't know what, what type of finance people do, but they like, anybody that's finance minded can think that stocks and crypto, when stocks doing good as fuck, crypto trash for the That's day right. when crypto is up stocks is trash mm -hmm. so it, it was it's the same by, it was same trying thing to figure, with yeah. life and, and I ain't had no mentor no role model yeah. it ain't no book on this shit I'm, I'm writing I'm trailing uh, blazing my own trail so I really so much that had happened that was fucked up to me C Strudge died right Man, after I was gonna we get shot into that, that motherfucking video yeah I was gonna get into that that, I, that I, shit I, fucked me yeah, up yeah I've been yeah did y'all were yeah, really close yeah, and this the man that you know. I've been I've been there in Fort Worth because I've I've been on for a long time. Mm -hmm. So, but that's the first nigga out of, out of town that was like, "Look, nigga, you supposed to be up here, and these niggas is on you." Yeah. They confirmed what I already yeah. knew about myself type yeah. shit, and he did that without being a. So a lot of niggas be be capped real. I don't, you know, it's it's like all they have in the world is is they the position that they created for themselves. They really ain't standing on shit. Yeah. So they protect this shit with their life. Wow. And, and Strugs was on some. Nah, my nigga say, this is what they making it look like. This is what it is. This is what you're going to go through. Is you going to turn up or what? Wow. You know, um, I seen you had that song with Strugs, and I shout out to his uh, the, his wife or the young lady that he had the two kids by. Yeah. Um, I, me and her talked of it. I was trying to do something with her to kind of push his legacy with the kids, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'll let me know, because when I be saying this, I be meaning this. Let me know, and I'm down for that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, actually, we trying to get them over here. I already mm -hmm. done bought plaques and everything. Yeah, yeah. amen. And was willing to bless if they come. They yeah, welcome to I'm with whatever, say. When people go down, shit, for example, Twisted Black out of Fort Worth, you know Man, what I'm saying? I it's remember that boy. We used to be in P.B. Tom together. I ain't gonna never forget that. He a legend. That nigga was dope. I just picked his son up. From a pun shop And he was trying to get a bike I said boy We finna In every interview yeah. This is my first one since then hey. I'm finna get on these Four word niggas ass That be riding Twisted black dick And this nigga son out here And he needs some shit wow. You niggas ain't doing A bitch I ass like thing I like that I like that Oh nah We gonna get grilled Niggas shit Niggas know not That's why niggas act like that with me They don't wanna pass me no mic Cause I'ma say everything Did, they you, need get to be it? Did you get him a bike? Oh man, shit! Fuck getting him a bike I'm finna make these niggas Come together with me And get this man get a car Yeah 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 yeah, yeah. How, old is, how old is he? He in his early twenties. Oh early yeah, 20s, oh, 20s, yeah, so yeah. yeah, really. And then, you know what I'm saying? When a nigga like when you got good parents, the worst shit in the world that happen is for them to leave because mm -hmm. shit. That's what you stood on. Yeah. No matter if you show whoever your crutch is, if you walking on actual crutches and them hoes get pulled up on you, gonna fire nigga. Yeah. You standing on that crutch yeah. for them. That's what you was depending yeah. on. Yeah, no, that's dope, man. I think you're doing the right thing. And if you need our help on something, hit me up. I'm that guy. Definitely. Like, like when it's going down, you be like, e, I'm, we doing this and watch what happens. Shit. Cause that's I'm how I bring it, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's yeah. the whole game with me is being standing on what you what you say. If you say it, you got to stand on it. Yeah, for shit, sure. And so back to your, that take us back to your question. I'm the type of, and then when people meet me, you're going to catch my vibe. I'm a very, my art, a motherfucker, and I'm going to pick up on everybody's art. It's a motherfucker in the room. So it's a lot of people who, at least in their mind, fashion that it won't be beneficial for me to come out type mm -hmm. shit. You get what I'm saying? They got a position that they got by doing this right, and if a real nigga that can do this too come in the door, then they feel like they're gonna lose their position. Mm -hmm. So I didn't. I came in the game right around the time, like the last time I was up around 2017, 2018. Around the time it was some trash ass females. If we're just gonna be blunt. Let's go. But they had the little look about them, mm -hmm. and they don't care they sign whatever contract as long as they gonna get some followers and you gonna make them look famous. And I got passed up for that. And they no, missed no, no, me. you dope, man. It like, ran like, me in the ground. I loved it. I, when I seen that you, your breath up. of fresh air, just to be real with who you are. And not only that, you ain't out here jumping up, trying to show a nigga this and that. You bring them lyrics. I you know what I'm that. saying? That's dope to me. Because we, you know, we look at that. Like, you being who you are. And you being true to who you are. And I think that's something to be, what, applauded. But I yeah. always say, you know, um, a lot of times you can't let certain situations discourage you because... You have to set set the trend for all these younger kids who are coming up who might run into the same problems that you you ran into and got discouraged from. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to get this. Let it stop me because these kids got to know that 
you can make it through this. But yeah. you know what? I praise God I, every day that I'm at that point now where I realize that back then, nobody told me that back then. Yeah. Nobody told me that you can climb yourself to a level everybody got to and fall down and get back and up. Get and get back, back up. I didn't. I thought when my world came crashing down, I thought it was over for me. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't have close mentors. My mama stay in Memphis. Type shit. My daddy stay in the same city, don't. We don't have no relationship, and the people I be around don't have the same. And all those people that you've met that's in the music industry that's maybe even sometimes older than you, none of them couldn't take you under their wings that's and be like... That's what I'm saying. It ain't, it's, it's fucked up like that. It's like everybody is sitting... It's an industry now. It's not about the music no more. This is a business. and ain't running this shit like that. So just like if you CBS, right, and a, and, a, and, a, and a young company come up under you and he getting all the drugs at a cheaper price than you... Uh, he 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 made a marketing deal where his commercials is going that far than you. Is you gonna tell this nigga it's a building behind your building cheaper than your building so you can set up type shit? So them niggas thought that they was protecting their brand by keeping me from getting in type shit. Mm-hmm. I've been through that all my life. Okay, so how are you how are you over stepping those boundaries? How am I? How are you getting past it? Shit, every time I get mad at somebody shut me out, I go buy the whole building. I'm about the whole shit. I see your business. You try to overtax me. Fuck it. I'm about the whole shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a ridiculous amount of business. It's probably something I couldn't even recall for wow. you right now. Cause I buy some shit and just so I can have it, so I don't got to fuck with the nigga. Wow, well, that's dope. I like it. What do you think about it? I like that. Jazzy Mac. I like. Yeah, that. get it. To get it right. Goddamn. Yeah. Man. So what about? Let's talk about the the re the reintro. Oh, yeah. What's oh, up yeah. with that? I'm going back and coming up and all that. What's yeah, up with the yeah. real intro? See, that's my. That's gonna be the actual intro on my um type. I'm dropping. That's the, the one you got up. on your display right now. Is it on YouTube? I think. But you don't have a video to it, or do you? Nah, I just I ain't, I'm gonna be a thousand. I be one like I'm in the whole motion of coming back right now. I got all my resources set up. Okay. And like you know, I really I'm gonna shoot a video for it, but shit, I don't, y'all want know some point blank shit. No, no, real talk. I'm a street nigga at heart. No, no, we so already know. No, I, I, imaging I can, part I of can it. tell the streets on you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm a little fuzzy. No, 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 no. <laughs> just, I was at the nail shop when he reminded I'm me how to woo woo. So I was finna get my nails. I was like, damn, let me take them off and let me. So I'm mean, you, you something else. I already know that. I, I come try. from where you at. So I get you know, it. So yeah. that, to be a thousand, that's what it is. It's like everything else that it would take me to get after I got on and somebody signed me to a fucked up ass deal, I've already went through that on my own independently. Yeah. yeah. So now, should I put on some lashes, retwist in front of my hair, put some nails on, Let's take go. a picture for my cover art, and I'm in the stars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, I thought <laughs> I seen you in like a, a store. Do you have a little setup? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Like we got a little setup here. I'd like. Uh, this ain't a no little setup. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> don't let this man catch with y'all. This is some real boss stuff. <laughs> don't let it say. No, th- but I'm saving another year, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so much. But you got a setup to where you're you're working on. Is it merch or are you are you trying to press merch out of there or how I'm, you doing? I do so much. Um, what I got on right now is my own That's color dope. brand is G Nerd. Yeah, I have a picture it. of a uh, yellow BZ G-Nerd. manager up there. Yeah, yeah, me and DZ. Yeah, he got on. It's a blue jean. It's my shit. He got I, I'm, on. He wow. wearing it on that? Yeah, man. So That's you gonna cool. get us some over here? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I can wear I it on the show. Make to... me one with boss talk, and I wear it. See this. See this. She will talk behind the scenes. Okay. Like, ooh, ooh, type shit, I like it. Yeah, but I so I do every type of press. I got the vinyl, the screen print, the DTG. You talked up, right? Um, the everything. I can if you want your shit like this, I will walk you down the path to get your shit like wow, that. Wow, that's dope. And so like we was talking about, this is some shit I did when I stepped back from the line, like cause shit was crashing. I just invested in all the all the shit that I needed coming up wow. when I wanted to rap. So now I've been running this shit for two years and I ain't been rapping. So now when I rap, right? I ain't gotta outsource this shit. I'ma call somebody, be like, "Hey, go get the key from under the rug and go make me 200 shirts." And we, you know, what wow, I'm saying? I love it. I love it. Like I said, the hustle is real. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, cutting so out the middleman. Se- have you been pressing them to sell them in stores and stuff? Or These ones, yeah. I ain't, I got a couple of business partners too. This ain't only me. I'm a I like to say independent franchiser. I saw a movement at the beginning of where it was, and I, and I jumped on it. It was like, here, this what y'all want? Wow, get yeah, give me my shit. So. It's um that being said, we in probably like thirty stores around the continent in the US. That's dope. It's a guy that's been blowing me up all day today trying to get um trying to get whatever. Units. So yeah. So it's really taking because you know, I ain't gonna lie, the it look nice. shit we hold ourselves to a nice No, no, you know no, what you I'm definitely no, definitely putting nice. in that work. How many how many can you how many units can y'all print in a day? Um, it's unlimited. I can I can give you however many you can afford to buy. Really? And that's with anything so have, that I sell. Really? So you have that much manpower to to print as Produce. many as you want? 
I have that much Mac power. I don't like the <laughs> Mac, Mac power. power. I love Mac it. Power. That much Mac power. Nah, for so, sure, for sure. I want to go back. I don't want to stay up here. I want to go back because I want to get into the uh, things I've seen where you was pretty much going through it when it came down to uh, uh, legal issues. When, when you, oh, you, yeah. you got into some stuff. What happened? I stay in some Now, I want to know the first, <laughs> time, the first time you went into some issues, some situations. Let's the, talk about so it. The first time I ever got How, arrested. Yeah, the time you got arrested and, yeah. All that. The I'm very just, first time. How old were you at that time, anyway? I was either sixteen or seventeen. There it is. Okay. There yeah. it is. The start of something big. I was still well, in high school. school. Yeah, I was still in high school, and then I was getting ready to. Gra- I graduated high school at seventeen. I graduated early. And graduated that's early. Dope. And it's from some smart. crazy shit. I'm smart. And then they fucked up. They sent me to the, the alternative school, little level two alternative school, but they accidentally unlocked out of classes. So instead of telling them and fixing it. I finished out of classes because now y'all can't send me these classes. I've graduated. There. Wow, yeah, that's when smart. I, sh- you scheme, was dope. Scheme to fulfill my <laughs> dreams. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> so why did you end up in trouble when you was dope, smart? Because you end up you. That's what's gonna happen look, look, when you, you when you're not a fan of the time. status quo. When you, you know, I got a. It's a saying. I don't know who made this shit up, but they say um. Um, women who play by the rules or something like that seldom make history, and I believe okay. in it. If you're going by the same status quo, if you're swimming in a school of fish, you know it's gonna be hard for you to get noticed. Mm-hmm. You know, for you to change anything about society, you mm-hmm. gotta shit be the, with the first one or one of the ones that be like, nah, this ain't how this supposed to go, or this not how you. And shit, all my life, I ain't gonna lie, I stick out like a sore thumb. I, I, I walk around with gray, ass, I mean green ass dreads, a mouthful of gold and diamonds. I'm on purpose gonna stick out because I'm gonna challenge you to make a a, a, a stereotype about me in your head, and I'm gonna beat all it. Oh, you can't yeah. put me in no box. No, no, I get it. I get I it. Fit. So, so how did you end up going to jail? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. yeah. Let's get back on that. Cause Just moved um, out of it. Nah, for real, <laughs> I, I got to. Hey, but um, my first time I ever went to jail, um, I got pulled over for some traffic violation. And I didn't know the whole, after 11 days, it turned into a warning, you go to jail. Yeah. I had never been, you know, subjected to it. So I pulled over the lock, asked me my questions or whatever, had me open my door. And I'm thinking he's talking to me, he's going to give me another ticket. But at, at a certain point, he pounced on me and just tackled me. Wow. And just tried to wrestle me and arrest me type shit like that. And it, I'm, you know what I'm saying? But I'm you like, what the fuck is going on? You weren't even resistant, so why would he tackle you? He just I don't know. Put you, turning you around? Scary. Yeah, puss ass like, and then it was a black. Was he a small dude? It, it was he a black was a dude. nigga, a bad built ass black dude. Wow, yeah, people be the bad worst one to you sometimes, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like I said, I, I didn't even know what was going on. I'm thinking, I'm gonna get a ticket. I'm like, why is he? Cause he's talking, and like I said, him, he he know he finna arrest me, and I'm thinking, why don't he just give me my ticket and let me go? But he inching closer, and like I said, he just passed on me. Ooh. Wow. So I'm fighting. Get the fuck off. Like, what are yeah, you doing, yeah, nigga? Yeah, don't yeah. touch me. Are you like, what, what the hell? Yeah, he didn't even explain nothing. They read your nah, uh, none what of the that. rights. They yeah. random, yeah. Miranda, yeah. Right. Miranda rights. So he eventually slammed me, put the cuffs on me and shit. He put me in the back of the car. And uh, my my phone was in my pocket, so I shimmy and work my phone out my pocket. My dumb ass, y'all don't know what I did. What? I called 911. Ah! <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> hey, y'all, officer got me. He got me in his car. I don't know why. I'm in cuffs and I'm blah, 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 right? I'm pleading for my life. I'm like, they finna save me like this happened in the movies and shit like that. Wow. Because I ain't never been in no cop situation. Wow. She called and I'm I'm hearing the car. She she said, like, okay, man, we just and she put me in hold and I hear her come across the cops. Hey, man, you got your goddamn defendant on the phone. Y'all take a goddamn phone for me. Oh, she called us call and shit. Oh, what y'all doing? Yeah. Leaving her with the phone wow. call. Yeah, so I'm mind fucked at that point. So that, that was my first little run in yeah. with the law. So wow. I never. I never got it, you know, we ain't never had no good relationship. Fuck y'all, y'all, y'all scheme me. What about just released from jail? What was that all about when you made that? Which one? Was it Jazzy Mac Bomb, the Bomb yeah, video? Yeah, damn it, I ain't gonna lie. The Bomb it. video, yeah. you were just getting out of jail. Facts, I'm gonna tell you this what how I did. What was that all about? If you notice, okay, it started out, I was I, the, when I opened my first t-shirt shop on the south side of Fort Worth. So that footage you see in the bounce houses and the people mm-hmm, outside, mm-hmm. this is my grand opening party. I had this artist I flew out from Denver or whatever. Long story short, she brought weed with her. Denver weed is legal. Texas is not. That's right. So this nigga I was fucking with, dumbass. I had him driving. Yeah, he's a dumbass with this. I had him driving, and he didn't put on a blinker light when he pulled in the terminal. So the lives get behind us, they pull us over. So it's really, we supposed to be cool, have a decent conversation with them, let us go. But the bitch talking crazy to them because she's so confident in her weed having abilities. 
Bitch, Denver being le- legal on weed don't have nothing to do with you having weed no. here in Texas. No. So she had a pen and like a gram on her. And I really, I had, oh shit, I had some novelty items that, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that appeared to be marijuana pens in my possession. Yeah. And they really wouldn't even, they didn't even check until they, until she was so she unruly, was, they was like, now nah, we finna pull this motherfucker apart. Any little shit we find, we going hard. Yeah, yeah. And so I got charged. And um, this, so that's what happened. I threw the ground How opening. Long? I went to jail right after that. How long did you stay? In jail? Shit, today, but I go in jail with bands every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pay, I pay they cash money you on my cell. You booked yeah. yourself out. You yeah. I mean, you, Tell you me how much yourself. this shit costs for you put me in my cell, put that shit in my shit, let my mama come get my other shit, wake me up when I'm out this house. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is how this goes. She's like she a vet in this. Like, I no, am. No. And it's that's sad. It. That's saying, but it's we, real. I'm shit. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. That's I know it. the process. That's it. I'm not here for none of the bullshit. Don't ask me no questions. Like, fuck that. So you never did no no hard time. You just always went and got out. Shit, that money talk bullshit. Man, well, I like that. So, okay, everything. so my question is, you are talented where the music nah. is concerned from a young age. Very talented. Why choose the streets instead of just strictly just all the music? You want to know some crazy shit? Shit, I feel like people like Pimp C, Lil Wayne, 2 Chainz. Say, whoa, whoa, stop. Yeah. Hold on, let say? Pimp C, no, 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 no. What did you say again? Shit, my, one of my favorite humans that ever walked the face of the planet, Pimp C. That, look at her when you say that. Keep hey, <laughs> Pimp, say Pimp C, Lil Wayne, Two Chains, a lot of street ass motherfuckers. Shit, the the, the list is ongoing. What it is is to be a thousand. You can't never. So if my intent is to say these people over here, right? I can't do shit that only these people over here gonna understand because I'm I'm gonna negate these people over here. Mm-hmm. So. You know, if I as I improve myself, I want to fuck with these niggas over here. I got to keep my message deliverable in the means where they can get that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I can't if I want to raise kids. I can't teach them college curriculum at first. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. they're not gonna get that, and it's gonna dis- discourage them from even wanting to learn. Yeah. Type shit. So, and that's a big problem I have. My mama in my life, like I said, my mama a corporate giant type yeah, shit. Yeah. And I love it, mama. But I'm I'm in the streets. I, I I'm 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 gonna get there. But I'm gonna get there on my own way. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. saying because of the type of music that you be rapping, which is about the street, you have to live that street life to be able to rap about it. No, nah, nah, not nah, at all. Nah. What she's saying is she can't make no damn money in the music, so she got to stay hustling. No, shit. no, no, I mean that, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's, that's true. True. That, that's closer. That's closer it's to true, what she's right? saying. Yeah, like I'm gonna just say okay. that shit. I'll be a thousand shit. A lot of, cause my mama would, my mama would, at this very moment would go bankrupt if, in, for me to go back to corporate America. Yeah. That's what I choose. But I've never taken pride in having nobody do nothing for me, for especially you. not my mama. All my life, everybody ride my mama back and, and get to where they want to go. And so as a real person, I knew this shit from three and four years old. I don't want to ride your back. Make your own way. Yeah. Either I'm a sink or I'm a swim, that's but I'm right. gonna do it without riding like your back it. because that's fucked up. The way that these people do you and the way that they drag you down and like they can't really love you if they fucking off they shit and depending on you to make that back for them. So I'm not finna do that to you. Shit, I didn't get my first pair of J's till like 11, 12th grade in high school when I can yeah. get them hoes myself. Yeah. Cause I'm not, why I'm gonna make my, the person that loved me so much that she already gone buy me some shoes. Already. Oh, really? well, I'm gonna make her buy me the most expensive that's shoes. That's dope. I mean, that's dope as that's hell. That's some hoe ass shit. No, it's dope that you, that you thinking like that. That, that just show you what, what type of level you was on even in high school. You know what she I mean? That you care. Kid, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, just trying I'm to and, and as a kid. You know what I'm saying? That, so did you did you have a father? Or, or was That's he what in I your was life? Gonna ask. That nigga was locked up for the longest. That nigga was gone. <laughs> that nigga was locked up for the longest. Shit. Is he is he alive and mo- moving around now? I mean, he alive, shit. And then me, me and my daddy cool, shit. That's really like my partner. That's what's up. Yeah, be, and he won't be disappointed with me saying this because he knows what's up. That's dope. That's really my partner. That's dope. I accept shit. He went through shit that prevented him from playing a role where I thought I, he was supposed to play. I turned out how I turned out. At this day, 2021, hey, I'm not going to hold this against you. Don't hold this against me. That's it. Did that, you have a male role model in your life, although he wasn't there? Did you have another male role model? A lot of street-ass niggas. Yeah. I seen the shit that they did that made them successful. I seen the shit that they did that got them killed. I seen the shit that they did that uh, kept them in their mama cribs. I seen the shit that certain niggas did where well, they living off the grid. Now, they don't touch the work, but they making a lot of money after work. I'm a sponge, no matter what atmosphere I'm in. I used to be one of them kids that go sit in the room and be quiet in a bitch. And and the motherfucker that's talking don't know shit didn't happen. But I can tell you everybody's life story, what they about, their personalities and shit, just cause 
I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a study. So you learn person. from everybody else's experience and oh, yeah. you tweak it to make it your own. Shit, to that's how I used to have life. to do. Right. That's how I used to have to do. I did this so long ago and so thoroughly that shit. I built up my own. I got my my own track record. My own, even my own sound. I don't mm-hmm. even sound like nobody no more. Yeah. I used to want to be Lil Wayne. I used to want to be Drake. Shit, I didn't sound like that shit. I, it's so much of Jazzy Mac incorporated in what I thought was they saying this shit. It's a whole new DNA stream. Already. Mm-hmm. In one of your songs, you said, uh, I don't like designer, I just like shitting on haters. Mm-hmm. You remember what it's song fact. that was? It's fact. I don't even be wearing my grill all the time because shit, it's not. I'm a natural, I'm a country motherfucker. I walk around with slides. That's on and, bombs, too. And God, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, I'm glad you like shit. Somebody else talking about I might need to revisit no, that no, idea. No, 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 I'm just checking it yeah. out, man. I like to I like to explore. And, for and sure, you know, for sure. like I say, I love the way your cadence is. And I know I say that sometimes, mm-hmm. but I listen. I listen. If you can't rap, I'm going to be real with you and be like, nah, I don't let, you know, but that's why I was messing with you by dropping something because I know. I know you fire. You know what I'm saying? Bad you ain't just you ain't you ain't just in there just because she really can rap. Like and you have to be like most of these girls shaking their butt on her or whatever, trying to get naked, mm-hmm. trying to fit in. But for her to be lyrical like that and and own it, just it, it's 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 dope. You know I what I'm saying? A, with y'all. a lot of my image, see now I'm finna change it so I can reach, you know, the masses and shit like that. People that's too shallow to look at somebody like me yeah. type shit. I'm finna finesse and slide in there. But a lot of reason I've kept my image in so hot, you know, so me is because I don't want a motherfucker to be like she made it because she was shaking her head. She made it. Because, I nah, love nigga, it. I don't did know, all this it. shit. I stayed awesome. committed to who I wanted to be. I didn't switch none of it. And look, I nigga, love look it. Where I, I, y'all told me I never make it like this. Man, you said I'd never get here. What the fuck in my head, nigga? I'm here. I'm in the building. <laughs> <laughs> but you say you're gonna change it. So how are you changing it? I ain't gonna say change, but like I said, this is what I want everybody that's loyal to me that admire the way I come. I'm not alienating shit about me. Right. What we finna do is we finna finesse the game type shit. Yeah. Shit, uh, the best wolf is a wolf in sheep's clothing, yeah. goddammit. Yeah. You can, if you look like a wolf, you can only kill the sheep on the outside yeah. of that bitch. You go put on a bunch of cotton and shit like that. You can get in the middle of the motherfuckers and feast before they ever know you in that bitch. Yeah. So. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a Robin Hood type bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? So I'm finna say, I'm gonna make myself, you know, it might be days where I look like a internet ass bitch. Yeah, but the thing I like about you is it's, it's really the hustle. That's all that's it why, is. That's, that's what all I'm it is. So this You're is just what, hustling. I'm telling you, I'm a, I'm a like, for, even for me to get in, in front of your eyes, you get what I'm saying? It's like I had to pull a certain strings to get here. I yeah. didn't just go hard and be a real bitch yeah. and I popped up at your door. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I had yeah. to, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it. So. You know? That's Trust what it, me, I'm going to be who I'm going to be. I'm dedicated to this mission. I ain't never... I, I see the hustle. I love, I love the hustle. I'm a hustler. That's why you need hustle on the wall. That's I'm why a, I love I'm a straight shit. hustler, That's man. That's why I want to hear y'all like, like come to the interview. I'm like, nigga, I'm... <laughs> my soul is at home right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's no, that's day. what it's all about. It's here for you, man. We love our people. That's why you see that. And that, that wall you keep looking at, that's every nigga that, if I'm selling clothes, I'm touching your hand and we talking about it. That's what you see. You see Steve Madden over there on there with that. The, right here, the one with the two fingers up, right here to the left. Oh, that's Steve Yeah, yeah. I knew you. Nobody knows how he look. You go down here yeah, on that no, other bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have a four pair of his shit in my car. Right no, man. but I, I just say, I always show people that because nobody don't know how he look nobody, a lot yeah, of times. Yeah, that's right. That's him with my wife down there again. And then at right, the bottom yeah. with me, you know, we rock with him. You that's know, high. but the thing I can say is, is, is people like that, you know, they hustle. They got so many different ways they get it. So when you say, hey, I'm for to change it up a little bit and do this and do that, I just think about the hustle. I'm like, she's just hustling. Yeah, you come in different high. ways because you got to finesse the hustle. This you got to flip high. it. Okay, yeah. how they like this? Boom, how yeah, they like yeah. that? And you just coming at Any real hustler, you know what I'm saying? I got shit that I like, right? But if I'm a hustler, if I'm trying to make money, I can't push upon you shit that I like. I got to find out what you like and get Definitely. what you like at a good value for you. Yeah, man. So so what do you, how many kids you have? I got two. I two kids? Boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. Uh, my daughter six and my son is seven. He'll be eight in August. Oh, oh that's dope. Back to back. That's dope. Ah, baby, like Jake, he hit me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how, what do they think about the music? Man, you wanna know? Some, my kids is my biggest fan. Man, that's dope. That's I raised dope. my kids and like this is a completely like you know some shit I made up. Mm-hmm. I'm freestyling how I'm raising my kids. Wow, who not? At the Everybody, you absolutely is. right. You yeah, absolutely I mean, come right. on now. Mm-hmm. You right. So. But the right, you know, I'm I'm overly honest with my kids, and this produced good ass results as of now. Yeah, like you know, they be 
it be some shit that I be hoping that I wish they didn't notice that they are noticing and they'll yeah. come and drop me a little thing about the shit be like, hey, your mama, why don't you woo 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 woo? Nigga, you smart. <laughs> wow. DJ Kelly boy. How they make you how they make you feel? It's proud. It's proud, proud is an understatement. It's like wow. one, how the fuck did I keep something alive this long? Uh -huh, you know what uh -huh, I'm saying? Uh -huh. I'm crazy. Like, damn. Yeah. And then two, that they could come out like this, you know. Yeah. They good people. And they 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 brought see, I ain't gonna lie, I was way too shy for too long in life or I would have been yeah, I'd have been somebody. Yeah. But my kids at their young ages, you know what I'm saying? I've been bold. so Yeah, they bold. Like and they love to show the shit out. We went fishing yesterday and this little boy well, he would cry because he's like, Oh my god, they're gonna have fishing, man. My son and my daughter walked up and grabbed Grab the worm in this hand, grab, and they just rolling the worm out. Oh, really? And tripping. everybody at the work, the leg is like, oh my God. <laughs> and they're like, nah, you're a mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Boy, that nothing. That's live to me. No, like, it should be. To like, because that's all you need in life is confidence. Mm -hmm. You can, a nigga that's confident with a 50 cent product and a nigga that don't know what he got with a thousand dollar product, that nigga over here gonna win all day because all day. You're gonna stay, you can only hit a percentage of the shots you take. When you ain't confident, you ain't taking shots. Mm -hmm. And I spent a lot of my life like that, I ain't gonna lie. Man. Sitting in the background. Man. No, that's like dope, not taking man. them shots. Man. Yeah, yeah, you gotta take those shots, if right? If I could have a lot of that time back, like, God damn, the shit that I would do with it, but I'm thinking, I don't believe in nothing. Ain't no don't such thing as a coincidence. Right, Everything right. happened for a no reason, reason, no matter how much you understood it then or mm -hmm. where well, you totally at with it now. Mm -hmm. Do any of your kids um, do music? My kids. Hey, so I, yeah, yeah, and they they on in there. They finna come out with their own projects too. Really? Because yeah, and they just now got bold enough to tell me, and I was like, you should have been telling me, nigga, come on, what's up? Let's get it. <laughs> and um, so they finna so come out with their own. Have you heard it? I wrote it. You wrote it, it for be them. A thousand. Yeah, hey, definitely. Man, that's dope. Okay. Yeah. So they come. Time. I mean, we're writing together. We're co-writers. So even in the credits, like I'm actually with the business shit too. So even in the in the credits, I'm just a co-writer. They they own writer. I'm a co. You know what I'm oh, saying? Really? And you teaching them the business everything. Oh, definitely. Like they press, they gonna press their own merch. They coming out with their own kids clothing line. Everything that I do at the age I've gotten to, I want them to master that while they're young. Right. I see, my girl. I don't never want them to have to work for nobody. If you choose to do business with certain entities, that I want that to be your choice. Not, be, but it can't be because you was ill equipped. Because I didn't give you enough to make your decision. And that's why I feel like we fucked up as black people there because we don't even have that choice. Mm. You know, Jazz and Mac. Slim body, house full of My bitches. Brother. Yeah, though. What's up with that? How did you process that? Is that his song or your song? Nah, that's my shit. Okay, but he he featured on it. Yeah, and then what's up? See, uh, I did this shit right after the shit happened because the footage and everything that's like that's real. If you Google, okay, woman standoff Meadowbrook, every news station in Texas is gonna pop up with their own wow. link. Wow. Yeah, some crazy shit. So that that was yeah. some real shit, and okay. I, I actually recorded it like the day after I got out. And had this other dude I was fucking with on there, but he really didn't bring it like that. Yeah. And if you notice, a lot of my flows be retarded. Oh, you but half for the bitches, I slowed down and kind of simplified that hoe so I could make room for the other guy. But then, you know, I, I was like, I'm not gonna let him fuck this song up like this. And my little brother had just got out the pen. I'm like, say, bro, I got a song for oh, you. Oh, he done wrote beat. beat on tables, everything. He's fully prepared for that. Oh, dead. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? He ready. He big stepper. Now I'm down there say, this is my baby shit. I done there raised that little boy. Yeah. So, he shit, I know it. what he on, so he yeah. can't. I, did, I had my engineer shout out my nigga Pulo. I had my engineer delete the other verse, put the beat behind it. Shout out my nigga Taz on the beat, because he be... I be not able to tag him all the time, and I love you, boy. You're a real nigga. You got some hits together, but um, he, my little brother dropped this verse. I got an engineer, and it, it been hard. Been and hard. I just now, I've been, I, I've been sitting on the track for a little minute. Yeah, but I'm glad you brought it out. Don't play, man. Stop playing, man. I got to. You I, dope, man. Don't do it, to. bro. We looking for that, man. I got um, to. Um, you know, I'm I'm trying to find me something that I can uh. Put on, cause I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finesse the beat. Let me and and, mm. and then you gonna tell me, hey, can you go with it or not? You know what I'm saying? Why don't we say, can we preserve this? Hello, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I gotta have, hey, I got, cause I know already it's going, it's going down, man. You can pick. Is that something that you can rock with? Let me see. Let it play for a second. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring it back. I got, I got, I gotta, let, I gotta bring you in. You gotta introduce you. Yeah, I can't. Jazz and Matt can't just start rapping in this. So own. you like this one? That whole dope. That kind of shit. I like that little. 
Yeah. You hear it? I hear it. Okay. We're going to rock out to it. I'm, I'm with it. Already. Check it, man. Let me rock with it. Check it, man. Check it, man. We hate, man. Jazzy Mac in the building, man. We about to go in, man. This Boss Talk 101, man. She dope as hell. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Jazzy Mac in the hey. building. Hey. Remember this when I read. Yeah. Hey. All these niggas around me, I know I can't trust a single one All these niggas I fuck with, I think I love them, think he the one Plus this guy the magic turn, he hit me like he need Let's him go. Plus them bitches, then we change our spot up for them people come I can't get no sleep no more, I think it's my anxiety uh -huh. I got niggas I ride for, I can't trust, they'll try to ride on me Bitches jack my style so much, I swear these hoes be pirating I been up so long, if I look down, I probably can't find come my on now. Niggas spit that game, but that's so lame this shit be typical All these bikes I made today I know I probably missed a few I don't fuck with these hoes Cause they be broke They make them miserable Every time I pop out I'm gon' shock the room Like Pikachu All I, all my feelings For these niggas When the last one there Ain't no bunny and cry This shit that died I spent this bag myself I remember I was so fucked up I couldn't even ask for help Seen a path I had to walk And now You know I had to step Take yeah. it man Take it man Jazzy Mac in the <laughs> building man Man. Oh man, she just walked through it, baby. She ain't nobody to play with. I already know I've been listening to her music. She ain't Aye. doing no playing no games when it comes to what she do now. Aye, no, Say no, man, no, no. we ain't hey, hey, man, we hey, best top three artists of all time. That are alive. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, man. Top three hey, artists man, of all don't be time. Me like that, no, no, man. no, no. You gotta tell me the top three artists okay, of all okay, time. Okay, Let's okay. go. Look, well shit, since we said it, let me boost me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won? <laughs> nah, I'm nah, yeah, definitely. I ain't gonna lie. I always gonna I'm be a student of the yourself. game. Yeah, I'm a student of the game. So, like, you know, wherever I'm at, the current state in hip hop is not where I'm gonna land. But it, it don't have to be. Uh, it don't have to be. Uh, not anybody. Uh, it, uh, any genre. it can be any genre. So oh, you really? gotta pick any three. Any genre. Three. Your top of all female, time. Anything. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be number one. Some other shit, y'all wanna be something. That, shit, I'm gonna say myself because I got a country son that that like make me more motherfucking uh, ISRC <laughs> than, than than anything I got. I like that because that's that what bitch had damn near a billion views and Are nobody had. I can't even tell y'all what song it is. Wow. <laughs> it bitch no. Facts. Look, I got. You gotta tell us so we can look it up. But I'm a, I'm on the India. I mean, yeah, I can't. I can't yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I get sued oh. for a lot of money. Now. Yeah, yeah. Every, every now and then they pay my rent type shit. Wow. So I can't I love it, man. Man. Yeah. So you number one. I, I'm, I'm gonna say number three. Let okay. Who's number one? I'm gonna say, yeah. Number one, my favorite artist of all time. All time. Lil Wayne, man. Lil Wayne, that, we done had some Lil Wayne's over here. I built that cut so cold. It's just the, it's it's so beyond me. Just the way, the, the wavelength your mind has to be on to bring it back down to the music wow. and make it register with those that might be that much lower mm -hmm. or that might be that much. Just that spans. See, I'm a my gift in life is I'm an energy twerker. I can take some energy, and no matter what medium it got delivered to me in, I can morph it into some shit that I can give it to all kind of creatures. I can say it in Spanish, and I speak fluent Spanish. I can say it to these Mexicans. That's dope. I can take it to these hood niggas. I can go in front of these white folks. I got some A rap partners that got some millions, and they people then sent them over here to take some American wow. money and send it back. So that's what he's. I'm an energy mutator. Lil Wayne is an energy mutator. He gonna take whatever beat he on and make that bitch wavy and make it do what he want to hey. do with that hoe. And I fuck with it. So like, number two, number two. Who's my next favorite artist? Now let me think about him. About doo, doo, doo. <laughs> have you ever done a Spanish rap? Yeah, I, I get paid for a lot of Spanish shit too. Really? Yeah, and then I ain't gonna lie. Cardi B made me a lot of money when she came out with that Bruno Mars shit. Yeah, I, I, mar I, I, I marketed some songs to some niggas and they spent. Wow. And, I, and I appreciate wow. it because she. You dope, man, because you talking about making money moves with the music. Yeah, that's why. If you, you know, know what I'm saying, a lot of niggas can't see, say, niggas don't even. A lot of niggas you, can't talk that talk. See that re intro you hear? I kind of drop a couple little money yeah. let you know kind of what I'm. But I ain't gonna lie, shit, I'm on some. Every whatever uh, music I'm dropping, I'm like years behind behind it. I can't never get nobody as much as I got. Wow, wow. So, you know so what I'm number saying? two is who is my favorite motherfuckers ever at the. That's hard, bro. That's real mm -hmm. hard. Damn. UGK. Damn. 
I already told you. Okay, you in Texas. Let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all better stop playing. Every nigga that's sitting I'm here gonna start straight saying, go pimp C, I'm going to start UGK. saying you can't say UGK because UGK is a group. No, I'm going to no, say that shit. Say we had pimp C. Facts. I told you, man. Stop playing. You not going to Pimp C is an energy mutate. This is a nigga that was way before his time that understood that you cannot. I can't switch up on these motherfuckers in the road with me from here today. What the fuck you am I without the people that hold me up? Do you get it yet? We in Texas. Do you get it yet? And niggas say, that ain't even my from Texas here, come like, right on this platform and say, man, Pimp C, this South thing is real, man. That boy stood in the gap for us when nobody else did. Oh, he, he did. stood he in the gap. Of times, see, a lot of shit that I be on, right? Because he went to, he made a lot of moves that might have attributed to his, um, his damn, yeah, yeah, yeah to be on. And then one of the last posts I just made about a week or two ago, when I come out, to the people in Fort Worth, because I'm real big on Facebook. I'm a celebrity. Yeah. You know, everybody in my city fuck with me hard. Already, I really type already. Shit. So I was just telling niggas, I'm finna do a bunch of shit, and I'm finna open a bunch of doors that niggas didn't try real hard and spend a lot of money to keep closed. Mm-hmm. So you motherfuckers better ride for me, goddammit. Wow. I'm trying to, and it was crazy. Nipsey said the same shit at the Funk Flex interview. He uh-huh. said, hey, look, I'm finna, ooh, y'all better, if these niggas coming. me. Niggas be knowing. Yeah, and I know I'm very, I'm very high risk with the way I conduct myself. Wow, it's a lot of shit that it's a lot of people way more powerful than me that don't want me to do the shit that I'm willing to do. Wow, so I'm in a but damn, I'm cool with that. I'm, shit, it beat the alternative. Yeah, feeling all this shit and just being in the box and holding yeah. it all in. I've been doing that all my life. But you I see, all, like I always tell people, um, people who put their life at danger, at risk, when you have a choice, knowing that you have a family that. Because same thing when I think about Mo 3 and him, you know, beefing and the things that he did, mm-hmm. knowing that you have kids, you have people who are depending on you. Why don't you think about that? Do you actually think about your family when you put yourself in these situations? See, but I do. Though. This is, so that's why I moderate heavily because I used to, I ain't gonna lie, I used to be, if we're just going to be a thousand and niggas will tell you why the comments going to be filled with niggas from forward, they're going to tell you this bitch ain't lying. I used to be on some real guerrilla warfare type shit like Watch how I even hear you talking about Because you ain't even going to have to have said that. If somebody, if, if you did something that made a nigga feel comfortable enough to come and tell me you said some shit, I'm, I'm going to show you why you shouldn't have did that. Wow. So I ain't going to lie. I've been a very, you know, callous person a lot of times in my life. But I don't conduct myself in a lot of ways because I do have, I, got, I love my kids love more than I love music and shit. When I felt like it was my kids or music. I said, fuck music. Oh, really? Where did you go for them years? Shit, I picked my kids over music. I do it again today. Let me ask you this. Uh, spiritually, do you you try to, and I don't matter what spiritual grounding you do, do you try to keep them spiritually grounded, just something to where they they can think about? Have something to tie yeah. themselves to? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I have to I say tell that. My kid, yeah, yeah, I feel, and I respect the shit yeah, out of that. I have to say a lot, that. People, that's why they're going to need to understand. That's right. Because if they align themselves with me, they want to know where I'm standing on that's that right. too. That's right, yeah. And I tell you this, I'm not a Christian, but I'm very, very spiritually rooted. No, 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 I get it. Energy is everything. Mm-hmm. Everything that you're looking at that appears to be solid right now is vibrating. Okay. So fast that we can't even see it. Mm-hmm. Everything is vibrations from a music chord to a particular mood yeah. to everything. And so I teach my children everything that I know, whether it's conducive toward my beliefs yeah. or counterproductive toward my beliefs. I'm yeah. gonna give you the I'm gonna give you this info, and you make your own decision. And ninety eight percent of the time, they're gonna go with their mama move because yeah. shit. I'm a I'm a I'm a righteous person. Yeah. I, I go with what my heart feel. I'm a I tell people all the time. I don't give a fuck with these white people putting this penal code. I'm going with the laws of nature. What what appease my soul. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. spirit. What make me feel good. I'm not finna hold nobody. I ain't finna do nothing to nobody that ain't deserve how yeah. I did them. Yeah. And if you ever seen me do something heinous, then trust and believe the situation caused for me to be heinous at that time. Yeah, the, the thing is, you know, because when kids look at you, you're their God. Mm-hmm. They look at you as God. When they, That's who they look at. And, and so you're who they pretty much, they pretty much look at you as their idol. And like you said, they believe in what you tell them and teach them you know so that's why I asked that question because and we, it's true for and the that parent love, that's there that love, and the parent that's not there that's right that that's is true. so true Think that the, the dysfunctionality is what you just spoke on yeah, like yeah. it can be a disconnect or dysfunction because of the way because the going. kid is doing conducting themselves as nature intended that's right they love their parents equally and often too much time in black families both parties not contributing equally Correct. so I'm not going to put no blame on either one and say hey this one doesn't work the, the bare Roots of the situation is kids love unconditionally, equally, and a lot of times shit they not getting equal participation from both sides. So they spend a lot of time 
believe in this and then they have to grow into realizing, hey, this ain't what I thought. Correct. You know, the same way that they find out Santa Claus ain't real, they Correct. find out a lot of the shit. That they've been dealing with. And then real. shit. So, shit, if we want to get deep on this shit, you know, the way that people feel like women are going too hard and blah, 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 right? We just now finding out as a species that, damn, we don't have to only do what they told us we could only do. If 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 the male race tell me I can't raise my right hand and I do this and my right hand raised, they lied to me. Mm-hmm. So I wonder what else they lied to me about and we exploring and we trying to see. I think it's I think it's, it's a, a little bit of that going on with both of us with the way with, we yeah, came up. Yeah, yeah. Uh far as you when you look at our background, I think it's a lot of time we're we're trying to figure it out as a culture cuz our culture was well, I tell beat you, down it's so, so much. many subgroups that's experiencing this women, men, yeah. black women, black women, men, yeah. businesses. You remember when a lot of the stuff that y'all sell, we thought that only the stores we walked into oh, would no. get vending contracts. Yeah, yeah, with them. yeah. It was a lot of uh, uh, a lot of hurdles we had to climb to even break some it's of these a lot brands. Of hurdles like we, they didn't we're climbing want us, right now. Yeah, they didn't want us to even sell certain brands. I had to really. I was uh, uh, I threatened them with lawsuits and everything because I seen how they was trying to keep us out. Because what clothes do, if you get certain brands, it breaks culture barriers, mm-hmm. and they know that. And the devil is busy. I believe so. And it, and it so breaks, we have yeah. to we have to break those. Co- those culture barriers by carrying things that'll bring other pe- races You're absolutely in. Absolutely know? correct. You want to know something that we done? So we just gonna speak on it. You want to know something that's happening right now and they can't stand? Remember, five ten years ago, if you wanted an airbrush shirt or you wanted a yeah. shirt done custom, you had to go to the mall and go fuck yeah, with the Arabs sure, and Mexicans. Sure. You know how many niggas then got t shirt oh, businesses man, these now? People dealing with it right now. I know. So I then people that been having to pay to go to the mall, you got to pay fourteen dollars for three letters. And you provide your own fabric. You go around the Because I'm real. I ain't going to lie. I'm real efficient with a nigga. I'm, you know. Yeah. I don't text on no product I provide. And no. I provide all type of products. No, no, so we, I don't we, have to take. love. Type shit. Yeah. So, like, you know, we, we people feeling this in their pockets right now. No, 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 across no. all type of and industries. I believe that. And, and I, 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 I like Even it. the stock market, right? Because what's going on, like, with the AMC and the GMEs, right? You got these corporate big companies founded on, okay, when we know something is worth a lot of money, we going to. We gonna do what's called put options, right? We gonna short the stock and we gonna act like we expect it to go down and it's gonna literally drop the price down, right? And so that's gonna keep people selling and buying, right? And now we own all these shares, so mm-hmm. we got them for this price and we gonna make this much because we scaring the public. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The public ain't being scared these days. Women not being scared by men's tactics. Black people not being scared by the t-shirt store inside the mm-hmm. motherfucking mall. Uh, phone companies not being scared of T-Mobile and so and so and so. I went in motherfucking Parks Mall in Arlington today, and right across from Foot, Foot Locker, it's a store called JD, something like that. They're not scared of Foot Locker. Mm. They built they same. And I went, I'm like, damn, they shit so much harder than Foot Locker. So people are bucking right now. Yeah. And if you got that spirit and you that buck ass spirit, then what I'm gonna tell you to do is align yourself with God so you know what you're doing is there it is. Is, 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 it. is on the right path That's and go it. for what you know. Go for what you don't know. Don't deny that feeling. Jump. Don't hold. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can't, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, and that's why I win. I take educated risks all the time. You have to. All the time. You have to stretch. All the time. Yeah. You have to. Because if, if you here and you want to get there, you will never go. If you wait all your life to get every piece to get there, you will probably never, never get, there. get there. And if you say, hey, I'm going to jump from here to that wall, mm-hmm. you will never get there. You're going to fall in the depth of this prison system or so and so and so. But if you see what, what tiles are there and you make edu- educated jumps across mm-hmm. them motherfuckers and you build where you got to and you da 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 da, if you play your shit right, you can get to that motherfucking wall. You yeah. just got to. Yeah, you got to hey. go for it. You know, so do you think that, uh, how, do you like the way the music is going now? Because when you, I know you go yeah, yo and all those guys that you, you've you done, you know, been in the rooms with. Mm-hmm. Um, the music has changed, even in the little time, you know, three, four years. How do you like where the music is at now? And it's on this a whole shit level. That, I'm going to be at that. I don't even listen to niggas. Yeah. I'm going to be, it's sad. If we right now, if I go to my music app, I play music on, on my phone and press to? play. Um, hold on, it's UGK. Hey. Swishes and Herbs. See that? And the song that went off right before that was Jazzy Mac. Hey. And the Jazzy song that Mac. went off right there before that was Kevin Gates. Hey. It's always going to be some people who, my spirit, if I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a positive spirit, I wouldn't put so much into the dudes paying their spirit. I, shit, I brag on my spirit because my spirit has paid those dudes. I can stand on it. Mm-hmm. So. I listen to people who attract my spirit. If I'm hearing your music right, I can tell that you listen to a bunch of music 
people in your hood you fuck with you. You trying to mimic it. And yeah, you trying to make yourself into this nigga that you is on this yeah. song. And while I respect your efforts because you're trying to change your life, yeah. I can't listen to that. It's <laughs> cap. That's, she said, that's I cap. Can't, I can't call no homeless person and listen to them for an hour tell me about how to make no, buy no motherfucking home. Yeah, I can't call no single bitch about yeah. no relationship advice. Hey, that's dope. I can't that's motherfucking dope. call no car dealership about no motherfucking insurance sales. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you, if, I, I had to learn from a tried and trusted method. Man. You can't tell me some shit you freestyling and you thought about it and you ain't achieved it because nigga, damn, you ain't achieved the shit. Mm -hmm. You want me to follow some shit that failed for you? What kind of shit is that? <laughs> no, you don't, you don't love it. me like I, that. I get it. So do you? So. Your um, your seventeen year old or sixteen year old self, what would you say to to? If to, I had a chance, yeah. yeah to if you had a chance her. to talk to her, how would you what What would you do to get her prepared for what she's about to face? Because people always say, if I could go back, I would I would do this or I would do that. I'm be a thousand. One for starters, if I had the option, right? If an angel came to me and said, would you go back to your sixteen, seventeen year old self, and or would you remain on this path? I'm be a thousand. No, you wouldn't go back. I know. No, but still, what would you say to her? But if I could go back and, and give Just her some game. Just speak to her. She probably ain't going to listen because you're you. <laughs> <laughs> I say that about myself. Like, I wouldn't have listened to you. Hey, what I tell her is, you know, fuck fitting in, baby girl. Go with your move. Wow. And you, gonna, you are the creator of your own destiny. You hey. know what I'm saying? Hey. Whatever happens to you in life, you dream that. You, 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 you accepted it. Before it happened, mm -hmm. and you made it happen. Wow, that's dope. I like it. So, if and I'm gonna say, how can people get a hold to you? I can uh, get a hold. Uh, to yeah, like like social it, media, social media wise, how can they Tell tap into your music? Shit. And all I'm that. sitting right here. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this in the camera. <laughs> I got 683 missed calls. Wow, and I got that's dope. 1,538 missed messages, and this wow. ain't no old shit. You no. don't be checking it. It ain't that I don't check it. They come in at such a high rate. I can't keep up. So I, 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 what social media platform? You need an assistance. Yeah. I need a lot of assistance. I need a lot of help. I need a lot of people. Are you power hiring? Right now. Uh, are you I'm hiring? hiring in several sectors. What are you talking about? Tell the camera what no, you yeah. want. I'm gonna tell you shit. Okay. Shit, I'm gonna do some finesse. Shit, how can they reach me? Book me at Mac Moving. Hey. The Mac Sauce Factory Custom Apparel and hey. the Generator Apparel. You can hit me up for the studio because we got a big, nice studio Ooh. too. Um. You can hit me up at my number, 817-495-8123, and find Dope. out about anything. You can learn about options trading, forex trading, stock trading. Um, if, you, if, if you're if a person that likes to make money, hit my hit my line, and I guarantee you I can, I, I'll put you in a better place. See, these old folks taught me some shit. They say I always leave a situation in a better situation than you found it in. Yeah. yeah. So... Anybody I come across because I feel personally charged by karma hey. that if I if I don't expend some type of resource about myself, whether it be time, energy, love, or just empathy or whatever, if you come across me and I don't send you out better than you can, I might be texted on the other side. So I can't afford to be charged that, I penalized that type mm -hmm, shit. Mm -hmm. So hit me at 817-495-8123, <laughs> whatever. If you're talking about some money and you want to make yourself better at life or you want to make me better at life, let's do it. Uh, my Facebook is Jazzy Mac. Don't you put no motherfucking Y behind my name. It's J-A-Z-Z-I-E space M-A-C. Don't put no K behind no I C. You're going to have to see me. Hey, hey shit. man. Love you, man. And if you call her and you don't get her, just blow up her phone. Call and call and call. And see <laughs> I, how I love many, her. You see I, how, I many, how her. many voice? You see how many missed calls she have? She cannot keep up with you, you call and call I and call and call. I tell, don't get discouraged by me not answering my phone because really. it, I'm not one of them people that be, that look at your shit and be like, ah, fuck them, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Nah, you it, just it, be busy. Know. Facts. If you need, I got seventeen thousand things going on at see, one time. Just call you. If you see somebody calling you back to back to back, you you gonna be like, man, I gotta answer. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I gotta Fast. answer. Fast. Something, Fast. something going on. And but then <laughs> I'm gonna feel charged. I'm gonna feel like, damn, God, I hear you. Let me get this person. Hey, I got man, you. I got exactly. you, bro. Well, we love you, Jazzy Mac. And and anytime you got some new project coming out. You feel free to come through on Boss Talk 101 and and, and let, let it be known. You know, uh, I appreciate we've been you. here uh, now doing this for about four going on five, five months. months. And, um, you know, five, yeah, man. yeah, everybody tapping in. I you know how many people job, been man. in that seat, man? We killing the game when it comes down to love. I'll say that, Listen, man. I'm going to have to go watch we, my booty. Nah, 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 we nah, killing man. the game when it comes down to loving, man. We love y'all, man. Hey, y'all got very, very powerful energy, man. I, say, I tell people all the time. I speak four languages, I speak English, I speak money, 
I speak Spanish and I speak energy. Yeah. And y'all are very profound in each one of them. And I Say salute y'all. Top off, hat off. If it's anything. I'll do respect. The vibes in this motherfucker is real. Man. If you're an eclectic type of person, I mean, you're going to feel the love when you walk in the room. <laughs> and you can tell they've been on their shit for a long, long time. Long time, man. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much for when recognizing When you say boss talk, you mean it. Shit. It's you real talk. You come to talk to a boss that That's it. Man, I'm not Thank saying you. boss like I run you and look no, down. No, 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 no. You saying, say, I'm going to show you what to do to make yourself what the... Hey, if you want to be what you say you is in your rap, I'm going to show you what the fuck to do. Boss hey, talk 101. Hey, boss talk 101. And, yeah. and you know what? It, it's an honor and a pleasure because we sit down with a real boss. Mm -hmm. And we recognize that, man. Keep on grinding. Keep on helping people. Keep on opening opportunities like you're doing. Mm -hmm. And, man, God going to continue to bless you, man. It's I been another it. great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. And we out.